All right, man. So uh, I've said it many times before in our talks. You know, I'm, I'm proud to be a part of this organization. And, you know, I honor and respect the fact that you've built such a great organization in the music industry that helps a lot of other artists. Uh, so I wanted to ask you in your journey to building this thing uh, a question about productivity, because there's this notion out there that people should only focus on one thing at a time in in each season. Just build one thing, focus on that, and then let the results of that take you to wherever wherever else you're trying to go. Regardless, always focus on one thing. There's this book from a guy named Gary Keller called The One Thing, and that's what he talks about. He pushes that in this you know, New York Times bestseller, very popular book. So I wanted to ask you, uh, what do you think about uh, a philosophy like that? Just focus on one thing, or should we... we learn how not to multitask because I don't really believe in multitasking like that, but should we learn how to uh, have our hands in several different things so that we can build up whatever dream organization that we have? What do you think? Uh, so I haven't read the book, so I don't know all what he talks about, but okay. I would agree that it is most helpful whenever you start something to finish it. Okay. Then there. So, um, what I can guess he means by that, or what I can say that I do, or that I, I like to do and um, should be doing, is that if I have like a new idea or a new product that I want to roll out for the company, then I try to do that that one project and get it done, and then then roll it out. Okay. So, like, let's say with um, you know TikTok promotion, mm -hmm. right? That was something that I wanted to go. And I wanted to build out that system so that, um, you know, I'm not trying to do 15 rollouts at once yeah. or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, it, it doesn't have to be so legalistic. Like it can be like you want to do one idea. Okay. So maybe it was like, um, let's say I had like the, I wanted to do Instagram Reels promotion and TikTok promotion. Okay. So those are similar. So you could do those at the same time because they're one idea. If those yeah. systems work the same way. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it's just the whenever you close out one thing, you have free headspace mm -hmm. is essentially what I can guess he's saying, which okay. I agree with. Mm -hmm. So if you close that out, like if you have a project open, at least in my mind, you like that's that's occupied headspace. Yeah. To me. And once you close out that headspace, like you, you're going to make better decisions towards other things you want to do mm -hmm. whenever you close out the first headspace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, it's it's really like lessons in organization. Okay. So not like, you know, corporate organization, but like organizing yourself. Yeah. Organizing your mind and being like when, when you do that, when you have a checklist, uh -huh. so to speak, mm -hmm. like you're going to be more productive and structured than if you just like if we woke up today and we didn't have a system for how we did promotion orders mm -hmm. like that's just chaotic yeah yeah but now like if we have a system of okay here's how we go through everybody's spotify uh playlisting orders here's how we go through youtube like you're just gonna be able to get more done yeah because, you know the system uh and you know how uh, those little kinks in productivity, like mm -hmm. if there's a kink in the system yeah, and it can be more productive, then you had that closure on the first part of getting it done, then you can like improve on it, right? Yeah. So I, that's what I can guess. Yeah, says. for sure, for sure. But I'm interested in, in exploring that concept a little bit of just focusing on one thing because I wonder if the author was saying, hey, you just need to focus on one project at a time or focus on one skill at a time because I agree with focusing on one project at a time. But I think we should be trying to learn different skills, you know, in and out of season. Because sometimes it takes a bunch of different skills to get to the, to the completion of that one project. And sometimes we're all we have. We're doing one man band. Yeah. So, you know, f with you, even for example, back when you were producing, um, you know, you had to make the beats in the DAW. You had to learn how to mix and how to master and. You know, whatever else came. Maybe if you were selling beats, you had to learn that yeah, stuff. So that, what, that's what, what I was saying? talking about with complimentary stuff, though. So if, okay. if it's a complimentary skill, it's kind of like in the same bucket to mm. me. Yeah. Um, if it's like, you know, something completely different, 
um, it might not be best to yeah. learn that way. Uh, I mean, you can probably, there's probably people who can learn guitar and piano and can. something at the same time. But for most people, I'd probably safely say that focus on that one thing for that period of time is going to be uh, best yeah, yeah, for, yeah. for actually speeding up the learning, getting to the level you want to go. Yeah. Uh, Cause if I wanted to learn coding, for example, mm-hmm. um, like I, I think it would be best for me to just sit and learn that one concept without a bunch of other stuff to do so that like I can close that out in my head. Space. Yeah. So that's, that's why I combine it with your, your thinking because the more stuff that occupies your brain, um, the less, free you are to be creative 100 100 yeah it's good makes sense 